Hi, I'm Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. Since we can't meet at a trade show this year, let's meet virtually right here in my studio. Thanks for coming. I would like to tell you briefly about Stencil Girl products and what makes us different from other companies. And then I'm going to show you some products and do a few little demos. First of all, I founded this company in 2010 because I couldn't find the stencils that I was looking for out there in the world. And I had six designs manufactured to start. And right now we have over 2000 designs. They are primarily designed, drawn, whatever you want to call it, by artists who we all know and love. People who have become rock stars in their various industries, whether they are in the fabric industry, the mixed media industry, or whatever. And I'm thrilled to work with them to bring what I consider really great artistically designed stencils to the world. As a company, I started this because I wanted to help artists gain passive income from the designs that they brought to me. So every time a stencil is sold, we keep track of royalties for the artists and we pay royalties to them four times a year. And that's a pretty exciting thing for me. It's also a reason why our stencils are slightly more expensive than others because we do give back to the artists in that way. We manufacture here in the United States and I'm also very proud of that fact. As a goal, our company has a stated mission to educate people about stencils. You might think that it's easy to use a stencil or that most people find it very intuitive, but not so, not even for me. I had to spend a lot of time learning every which way you can use stencils. And I view that as my goal as the owner to share with you all. So we do quite a bit of educational things on our Facebook channel, our YouTube channel, our blog, our website. There will be a lot of different links you can check out. Regarding the stencils themselves, we bring new products to the market all year long. We don't just do this at the time of the trade shows. We Every month we are bringing new products to the market and I find this very exciting. It always keeps me on my toes for sure. And the best way for you as a consumer to keep up with us is to go to our website and sign up for the newsletter that we call The Scoop. And that way you will be tuned in to all the things that are going on with Stencil Girl products. Let's turn the camera. I'll show you some stencils and do a few demos. All right, I have quite a few things laying, laid out here to show you. And what I want to start with first is to show you a couple designs by Kat Kerr that just came out. These are brand new. I adore these birds. Look at how cute they are. They have little numbers in them. They're like migrating birds. And I just love the stencil. It's, I don't know, it appeals to me so much. But I brought it to show you because this is a true stencil. This is a piece of mylar and there's a cutout and you put paint in that cutout and it creates that design. This is what we call a stencil. Now, Kat Kerr also did this design, which you might be thinking, well, what the heck is that? Well, this is what we call a stencil and mask combo. And we have a number of these on our website. And I just wanna give you a quick kind of how to how do these work? You know, what do I do when I order something like this? Okay, first of all, there's these little bitty tabs that hold the mask in. So you would get tiny scissors and snip those little bitty tabs. This is also a cat cur design that I think is too sweet for words. And I want to show you some of the capability of having a mask and a stencil. 
with uh, this coordinating design because this is pretty cool. So now you have, this is actually the mask and this is the stencil. I will show you something that you can easily do with this type of product. First of all, you could put this down and stencil within this opening. So let's say we're gonna do purple purple hands, why not, right? So we could put our paint out, let's just put it right here, and I have a sponge dauber, pounce, and then just fill this area. You can twirl the sponge dauber, you can pounce up and down. I find pouncing up and down is the safest thing to do unless you're going to use a stencil spray or something to really keep this in the precise position, you know, you have a slight risk of paint going under the edge. So pouncing is always gonna be the best way to ensure that you'll get a nice clean result. Okay, so there that is. Now, let's say you wanna do a background. You put your mat down, your mask, and get a different color. And I'm gonna get a fresh sponge. This is a different kind of sponge. This will work great too, as will cosmetic sponges. All sorts of products work great with stencils. And then you just go right over top of that mask and get this background. There's tons of ways you can play with masks and stencils to get a really cool result. But I did want you to just see the opportunities and so that when you go to the website and you look at the products, that will make sense how you might use two pieces like that to create one art object. The next thing I would like to show you is how some of our stencils are specifically made to be cut into smaller parts. These are two examples. This is a gorgeous stencil from Lori Mica with um, Milagros on it. So you can use this stencil like this and just use this section or all the sections at the same time, or you can cut the stencil into four smaller stencils if that is something you would prefer to do. We absolutely encourage people to make the stencil their own and use it in a way that is most likely to serve you the best. Here is another example. We have a lot of stencils that are called ATC stencils. And so they're sized specifically for working on ATCs and or for working in journals, for greeting cards, anything that has a smaller, a smaller footprint. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different stencil designs on one stencil. So if you look at this, all you need to do is cut twice there and then cut twice here. And you will have nine stencils that are perfectly sized to make ATCs or smaller projects. I love the option of that. This is one that was designed by an artist of ours named Carol Weeb. There are ATC designs by nearly all of our artists and I love them. It's what I use when I travel because they're so convenient to slip in. Uh, they fit in a little library pocket just perfectly and I love to put these in my travel bag. All right, at the very end of last year, we released these stencils with these cocktails on them, and I just think they're too cute for words. Now, you might think this is an ATC, and it's really not because this wine bottle takes up more room. You could certainly cut these down if you wanted, any which way you would like to use them but I was playing around with them the other day and I came up with, I thought, some cute little things that could be used to make greeting cards or potentially put in your journal. You can easily put one of these designs down and use a pencil to trace it, which is what I did here. And then I colored it in with color pencil and then I used a clear emboss on top. 
Here is another one, except I used markers instead of pencils. And then this one, well, I used everything. <laughs> because how much fun is that? So if you are looking for cocktail stencils, we have them. All right, another recent, very recent release of ours is a set that I designed, and these are the periodic tables. And I did three parts here. This is the part that makes the little squares, and then you would put this down and you would make lines around the little squares. And then this part, I love for gel plate printing. It is just absolutely too much fun. I'm specifically intrigued and, um, okay, maybe just a wee bit obsessed with this little part here, this bottom part. And I wanna show you this fun thing that I came up with that I thought was a great idea. I just happened to come up with this last week and here's the part that's been cut out from that stencil. And then this is a little dish of high flow acrylic. It could be any kind of ink. I like an acrylic ink or a high flow like this because it will dry down permanent. And I am taking this stencil for a dip. This is something I thought of and I thought it would be so fun. Now look at that. When you pull the stencil out, some of the squares fill up with ink and some of them don't. And you can lay that down and get the coolest result on paper. I think it is really fun. I've been making a lot of these and using these to embellish some of my paintings and so forth. Fun, fun, fun. Don't forget to take your stencil for a dip. This is our big release scheduled for February this year. We are manufacturing stencils that have been designed by the incredible Jean Oliver. If you aren't familiar with Jean, you need to check her out. I love her vibe with her work. It's so gorgeous. And this is a piece that was made from this stencil. All I did here was put some papers in the background and then just used some brown paint and stenciled it. There are so many options with these stencils. She has little parts that are very similar to the drawings that she puts in the backgrounds of her paintings. And I love seeing these. I cannot wait until these come live and everyone has an opportunity to get their hands on them and play with them. So fun. Look at this, these botanicals. Oh my gosh. And these large portrait size. Are they beautiful? I'm very excited about them and just can't wait. Go over to Stencil Girl Products, sign up for our newsletter, The Scoop, and start following us. I think you'll be excited about all the education we offer, the demos, the free programming available on our Instagram and Facebook pages. We've got it going on. We try to really, really reach out to our customers and would love to add you to the group. Thank you so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you down the road.